This video is not financial advice. I am not a financial planner. It's for entertainment purposes only. It's the one, the only. A father in the house, baby! Wow! Okay, this is a response video to Commander Vlogs, okay? I don't, I never heard of this guy before, um, but, you know, he made a video about the ape father commenting about my cause and Lou. All right. So basically, here's what this guy is saying. Okay, his, his whole point. His whole point was, first of all, about Lou. You know, Lou curses. I think he, he says it in a way. I don't, he, he definitely doesn't sound like he's from New York. This guy's got to be from, I don't know. He's got to be from like Tennessee. Though. He's saying, I curse his, what, I, I can't even say it the way he says it. I cur curse you, curse you, it's called curses, baby. I say it with some diamond balls of steel. Curses. All right, anyway, I don't know, he says it in some very, like, strange way. He's probably from, like, the South. But anyway, um, you know, the bottom line is this, okay? I understand what you're saying, okay? But that's not really my, my true problem with Lou. I don't really care. I curse. Listen, there's a lot of videos I curse, okay? You know, Fuck. <laughs> okay, I don't really have a problem with Lou cursing, and I don't want to get into, I don't want to repeat, just watch my video, uh, all the, the, the biggest problems I have with Lou. I just, the biggest problem, the real main problem I have with Lou is he never proved he was an ape. He never proved it. He never showed his portfolio. And, you know, he commands a very big audience, okay, like over 60,000 apes. His audience is growing. I have no idea why. But anyway, Lou... Okay, never proved he was an ape, and he talks a lot of nonsense. You know, he changes his tune. He's very hypocritical. He's very hypocritical. Every video, it's a different day. We're going to 1,400. We're going to four to 5,000. We're going to 30. We're going to immediately go up to 100. You, you, you know what I mean? We're going to have managed events. Uh, you know, 700, you got to be 700, you know, for first bracket to sell, next bracket to sell 1,000. All of these comments that are going to make apes sell too early. Which is what we don't want because Commander Vlogs, if you are an ape, okay, you're saying you're an ape, okay, then you should understand that this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. It's never going to come again. Would you agree with that, Commander Vlogs? You think there's going to be another opportunity where we're going to have a hedge fund, a, a behemoth like Citadel on the balls of their ass where they owe 10, 20, 50 billion naked shorts, and we can take them to the cleaners, baby. We can go to Pluto. We can have the biggest transfer of wealth in history. You think there's going to be another opportunity like this, Commander Vlog? This is why I get on Lou, because he's going to make apes sell too early. I don't care about the cursing, the cursing. I don't care about the cursing, whatever. Listen, I shut the video off. I told my daughter, close your ears. I said, put the hands on your ears. I shut the video off. She went inside and she started playing with her, her freaking Barbie dolls. I said, listen, I don't care that Lou curses. I don't want Lou destroying this movement. I don't want Lou destroying uh, the a once in a lifetime opportunity for apes, especially that he may not even be an ape himself. This dude may not even own one single share. And he's going to destroy it for people like me who put my life savings in it. People like apes who are buying the dip consistently, who are consistently buying fractional shares, who are consistently adding shares. He's going to root it for these guys. No way. So now as far as Matt, Matt Course, okay, here's the thing about Matt Course. All right, look. You hear about like stories. I read stories all the time, right? You know, there's some guy in some state who's faking he's a dentist. He's not a dentist. He doesn't have a, a medical degree, you know, and, 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 and you know what's happening is he's operating on people, right? You know, he's messing up people's teeth. OK, you all could be surgeons. They're faking their surgeons and they're killing people. They're hurting people. They go to jail the rest of their lives. You, you, you understand what I'm trying to say? Okay. And then you hear about that guy who was the doctor with Michael Jackson. You heard about that guy, right? Before he died, he was given Michael, like Michael Jackson was giving him money. He was making a lot of money. Okay. And he was giving Michael Jackson, I guess, these uh, pills uh, to keep him awake at night, which could have led to his death. We, we, we don't, we don't know the whole story, but, but, but the doctor, I believe got in trouble who was giving these prescriptions to Michael Jackson. So the point is you gotta be an ape. <laughs> it's, it's that it's that simple. Listen to me. You guys are trying to make it seem like this is not a big deal. Like only everybody on, on, on YouTube, you're like, you're like, it's okay if you're not a knave. It's not okay. It's not okay. The whole purpose of the movement, guys, is that I hold for you and you hold for me. I buy when I can for you 
and you buy when you can for me. It's like this song with Billy Joe. I don't want to keep repeating it, you know. We all go down together. Yes, we all go down together. Or, hopefully, which is what the Eighth Father believes, we all go up, yeah, together. We all go to Pluto together. But together means, what does it mean? It means that you're facing all of the same, you know, gigantic Tasami waves and all the pressure and everything that we're going through, how we're battling. You know, apes, you know what they tell me? I'm sleeping in a car. This is what they tell me, apes. They say, I can't afford a hotel any room because I got no more money, but I will not sell my AMC. It's like C. Diddy. Remember C. Diddy? That guy touched my heart, man. God bless you. God bless you. He touched my heart. He told me, hey, father, my house burned down. He said, my mother passed away. He says to me, my wife's got a baby on the way. I got a sheriff, right, coming to my house, putting an eviction notice up, okay, that we got to leave the house in 30 days. I got a baby on the way. And I'm not selling my AMC. I'm not selling. Okay, then you get a guy like Matt Cause. Is he an ape? I don't know. Okay, he's saying he's an ape, but prove it. Okay, and you want to know why I have a major problem? I'll tell you the reason why, all right? You want me to just say it? You want me to say it, a command of log? Look, when you say he deserves to make the money he's making, I disagree. All right, and I'm going to tell you the reason why I disagree. Because, you know, do you feel that if he's not an ape, meaning let's just say, let's just say he doesn't own AMC, okay? And let's, or he sold AMC, like he's a hypocrite. Let's call him a hypocrite. Let's say he sold AMC at, at 70, okay? The point is, does he really have the right to make money off apes who are living in their car because they won't sell? Who are like C. Diddy, who, who have eviction notices, his mother passed away, he's got a baby on the way, and he's holding for dear life, he's holding his AMC. So you feel that Matt Cause has the right to sit back with his super chats and charge apes to answer questions when he may not be an ape himself? No, no, no. My only problem with Matt Cause is this, prove you're an ape. Okay? Prove you're an ape. That's it. The ape father feels you do not deserve to make one single penny unless you are a part of this movement. I don't care if you were in it from the beginning because you might have just saw an opportunity. Okay? That's it. Or maybe he was an ape at one point, but he lost the eye to Tiger and he got scared and he put his tail between his legs like a little coward and maybe he sold. But you know, there's a simple way to solve all of this. There's a simple way to solve all of it. Show your portfolio. Okay? Prove that you didn't sell, okay? And you know what? I think apes, if they're real true fans of Matt Cause, they'll have a general idea of what 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 you know what kind of a position position he holds. Like like I think I think Command of Vlog said he just bought five hundred shares. Prove it. Listen, I could do the same thing, guys. I could do the same thing. Uh, apes, ape follow bought a thousand shares today. All right, let's go, let's have it go. But if I don't prove it, it's all bullshit. Okay, it's all bullshit. And guys. We can't do that to each other. We can't, you know, something that's, not, to me, that's being, I don't want to say it because I don't want to curse, but be a scumbag, okay? If you're lying to apes, okay? If you're telling apes you're buying 500 shares or you're buying 1,000 shares or you're buying whatever it is and you're not actually buying those shares, you are a piece of garbage. You're scum. You're worse than Citadel, okay? You're worse than Ken Griffin. So... I mean, and that's another thing. Like, like, listen to me. Don't you find it strange that Matt Cause even does that? Like, why does he even have to come out and say, hey, apes, I bought 500 shares today. But then he doesn't prove it. But then he doesn't prove it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, like, so listen, command the vlog. Let's just get back to your point. Your point is that Matt Cause does a service for the community. He does live streams. He does great work. Okay. But don't you, I'm asking you, because you seem like an intelligent guy. I was watching your video. You seem like you have a, a decent IQ. Why even mention it if it doesn't matter? Like you're saying, aren't you saying this command the vlog? You're saying it doesn't matter, correct? You're saying it doesn't matter if he owns any shares, whatever. Okay. So then why does Matt Cause have to do that? Why does Matt Cause have to say, hey, guys, I just bought 500 shares. Let's effing go. Okay. Why even do it? Correct? Okay. So Matt Cause feels there is value in being an ape, meaning there is value in proving to his ape community that he's buying the dip, that he's, you know, constantly buying and adding to his portfolio. He sees there's value in it. So, but Matt Cause, okay, you got to prove it. 
You got to prove. Can't just talk the talk, buddy. You got to walk the walk. Can't just talk the talk. Blah, 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 blah. All of you guys are YouTube. Okay, prove it. I proved it. Okay, you know, apes always ask me to prove everything, and I do. I show my portfolio. I address everything. When you have a concern about the ape father, the ape father addresses it. Like, for instance, the GoFundMe page. Okay, it's only going to be a few more days, guys, that the ape father is going to be fully transparent on it. Okay, like it says, I'm waiting. Remember, I told you I'm waiting on the last shipment. So I called Cheap Tees. It's coming. I got I got the rest of the shipment coming. I think it's just a few more days from now. Okay, and once everybody gets their T-shirts from the Ape Father, the Ape Father is going to print out bank statements. Are, are you ready? And I am going to show you where I donated all the money to. I'm going to show you every ape. Like for instance, I just helped C Diddy. Ask him. You don't believe me? I gave him two hundred dollars. I donated. Now you know a lot of times what you know what apes do. They put the Ape Father in what's called a rock in a hard place. That's what you do. You say you know something, Ape Father. If you were a humble guy, you wouldn't even mention that you helped people. I tried that route. You want to know something? I tried that route. I tried to not mention it. I tried to just help people from my heart. But all I get is hate. It's all I get. Hate. You're a fraudster. You're the ape fraudster. You're the ape con artist. You're the ape scam artist. So you force me to I have to do this. Okay, I have to mention that I gave $200 to see Diddy. And I know it makes me look a little bit like a jackass because I should keep it humble and I should just keep it between me and him. But I have to do it for all of these haters that keep thinking that the ape fathers try to do something wrong when all I wanted to do was help our ape brothers and sisters in need. That's all I wanted to do. Unlike Matt Cause, who is making money off our ape brothers and sisters. Okay? <laughs> That's what he's doing. He's making a fortune. I mean, you got apes sleeping in their cars. They can't afford a hotel room. You got apes having electricity mat cores turned off in their house. You got apes, are you ready? Starving! Why don't you take some of that super chat money and donate it like the ape father did, huh? Why don't you do that, mat cores? Why don't you do that? Donate, help your family, okay? Stop being a pig, you're a pig. You know what a pig is? You're a pig, you're like the guy, we go to Big Ed's. You know Big Ed's baby barbecue. All right, let me tell you something. The eighth father got, got lost, all right? Big Ed's is a place in New Jersey where it's a north, it's it's closer to Staten Island, okay? Where you get all you can eat ribs, the greatest ribs in New Jersey. If you're ever in New Jersey, you got to go to Big Ed's, baby. So you get all you can eat. Plate after plate of the most delicious ribs on earth. So the eighth father ate plate one, no problem. Two, three, four. The fifth plate, the sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, ten. Ten plates of ribs, all right? And uh, they came to me and they said, I broke the record. They said, you're the champion, baby, okay? And then I think it was like either the next day or something, some petite girl who weighed 110 pounds ate 11 plates of ribs. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? Because she had the eye of the tiger, baby. That girl had the eye of the tiger. And when you have the eye of the tiger, you can do anything. You can accomplish anything. So that's my response video to Command the Vlog. Thank you.